Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Coffee with Code. Today we have brought another video of quantitative aptitude that is permutation and combination. This video will have a fully explained questions from permutation and combination which will be very beneficial for you to know before you go and attempt in Wipro, TCS and all the campus placement that is going to happen. Permutation combination is such a chapter that nearly comes in all the campus and placement. This is very important chapter and most of you tend to do a silly mistake in this chapter because you don't understand where to use permutation concept and where to use combination concept. So according to all of the demands that we have received, we decided to make a video, a complete video on permutation and combination so we'll be solving different kind of sums and first we'll be explaining you what and where to use permutation and combination so guys please be connected with this video till the end because i'm very sure that this video will really help you in your campus placement right so let's start You can see two formula. The first one is of the permutation and the second one is of the combination. But before going on to the formula, let me tell you what a permutation is and what a combination is. Permutation means different arrangements of given number of elements taken one by one. Note here guys, I'm telling one by one. This is a very important thing. For example, if we have two elements A and B, then the possible arrangements will be a b and b a this is a very important thing that you should note and what is a combination it is a different selection of a given number of element taken one by one or some or all at a time now here like in previous i told if we are taking two elements a and b then there will be two possible arrangements but here if we take two elements a and b then there is only one way of selection so this is a difference that differentiate the permutation from combination. Now let us try to understand what this formula is and how to apply in your sums. Now let us try to understand the formula of permutation. The formula is NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. Here N is the total number of elements. And R is the elements to be arranged. Now, let us take an example for you to understand it in a better way. Let N equal to 4. So, I have taken N equal to 4. Alphabetically, I will take 4A, B, C and D. These are the 4 elements that I have. Now, R, uh, let us take R equal to 2. All permutation of size 2. So, the answer will be 4 factorial, 4p2 is equal to 4 factorial by 4 minus 2 factorial. That comes to 4 factorial by 2 factorial. That will be equal to 12. So 12 permutations are possible. Let us see how. We have taken a, b, c, d. Okay. The first one will be a, b. Then a, c. Then A, D. Now for B. B, A, B, C, B, D. Similarly, C, A, C, B, C, D. C, A, C, B and C, D. Then D, A, D, B and D, C. So you can see one thing. So this is a, what we get. So the, we got 12 permutation. That is this one. Here one thing you should note, I have written AB also and BA also. It means they both are standing apart as a different identity. So this is the one that differentiate permutation from combination. We'll explain it, then you will understand in a better way. Now let us concentrate on what combination is all about. Now let us understand the formula of combination. First we will go through the formula and then we will understand how it is forming. So first 
What is the formula here? NCR equal to N factorial divided by bracket open R factorial into multiplied by N minus R factorial and the bracket is closed. So, let us take an example. So, here what is N? N is the number of elements taken and what is R? R over here is the combination size. So, let us take n equal to 4. So, let us take r equal to 2. So, the combination size will be 2. It means total number of elements is 4 and r elements that is 2 elements has to be selected. So, the let us put it in formula. It stands 4 factorial divided by r factorial. r is 2 over here. So, 2 factorial multiply by 4 minus 2 factorial. So here comes 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial which will be equal to 6. So the 6 combinations are possible over here. One thing to observe the previous one with same values there were 12 combinations that means it became really half. Now let us see how it has become half. So alphabetically if we take n equal to 4 that is a B, C and D. So the combination will be A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, C, D. Because A, B and B, A in a combination is same which is different in a permutation. So this is a very important thing that you should note. So what we should note here is for permutation A, B and B, A are two different things. But for selection or combination A, B and B, A are the same thing. This is a very important difference that you should know. When we'll be solving the problems then you'll understand in a better way. So keep watching this video till end. And if you like our video please give up thumbs up because it really inspires us. Share it with your friends and comment us if in understanding any problem. If you want us to solve any chapter you can comment us there as well. So moving on to the sums right now. How many words can be formed by using three letters from the word Delhi? So what uh, the question is how many words can be formed by using three letters from the word Delhi? So here number of words means number of element that is equal to 5. So n equal to 5. And what is r? 3. Because R element has to be selected, that means it is 3. Now here we are going to use permutation. Why? Because DE and ED, if you write, it will be a different word. That means it is a permutation problem. So you have to understand this logic. As I told you before also, that was a very important thing to know. A, B and B, A are different in a permutation and A, B and B, A are same in combination. If you have this logic clear, then you can understand which problem is of what. So here you can understand if I write D, E and E, D, that will be about different words. So N equal to 5, R equal to 3. So the permutation will be 5, P, 3 equal to 5 factorial by 5 minus 3 factorial so equal to 5 by 2 factorial that will come to 120 by 2 or equal to 60 so this is your answer i hope you have understand this was this question basically makes you understand the concept of a b and b a and how to choose whether it's a permutation or combination so let us move to the next question the second question is how many words can be formed by using the letters from the word driver such that all the vowels are always together. So in this kind of problems what we do because here if you see all the vowels to be a single character. In this type of problem we take the vowel as a single character and then we will take out the solution. So now let us solve this question. In this type of question, we assume all the vowels to be a single character. That is, I, E is a single character over here. So now, we have total of 5 characters. That is, D, comma, 
R, comma, V, comma, R, comma, I, E. Now one thing to observe here is there are two R. That means R occur twice. So number of possible arrangement equal to 5 factorial by 2 factorial. Because if the R interchange their position, we won't be able to understand. So which equals to 60. Now there are two vowels which can be arranged in two factorial way. So two factorial equal to two ways. So total number of possible words such that vowels are always together here will be 60 into 2. That, that means 120. So this is a solution. Please note that in this kind of a problem, if there will be some word which will repeat themselves, that means you have to apply first then and take out one solution. Then the vowels which are, will always be together and then you have to multiply. This is another kind of problem. We will try to solve as much as problem that comes in your examination. If you solve this questions in your own and try to practice this question, I hope in examination you won't get any new type of questions to solve. So moving on to the third question. In how many ways can we select a team of four students from a given choice of 15. So this comes the problem of your combination. Because here a team has to be selected. Any one selection in any way does not matter. So the solution will be 15 C4. So putting the thing in the formula, we get 15 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 15 minus 4 that means 11 factorial 15 factorial by 4 factorial into 11 factorial so number of possible ways of selection is 1365 i have done the calculation of course you need to do this calculation this may take a few time but there will be calculator that will be provided so you can do with the help of that so this was a very easy sum for you but note that you should not get confused in choosing about combination. So this was a typical question of a combination. You should note that what kind of question to be used, what type of formula to be used well because this is the biggest challenge that you get solving permutation in a combination sums. Let's just move to the next question. In how many ways? Can a group of five members be formed by selecting three boys out of six and two girls out of five? So first thing is we need to choose whether it's a type of a permutation problem or a combination problem. So if you have understand the concept of AB and BA, then you will understand clearly that this is a question of a combination. So first you can see in this we have to select boys and girls. So first take out number of ways a boys can be selected is 3 out of 6. That means 6 C3 equal to 6 factorial by 3 factorial into 3 factorial that comes to 20. So now the number of ways a girl can be selected is 5 out of 2. So that means 5 C2. That means equal to 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 factorial. That comes to 3 factorial. So 5 factorial by 2 factorial into 3 factorial. That will come to 10. So therefore total number of ways of forming a group will always be equal to 20 into 10 that means 200 a very easy solution guys permutation and combination is a kind of a problem which will be just like a piece of cake if you understand it properly where to use what if you understand it it is very easy to solve so please try to understand all the questions that i'm solving if you have any problem please comment us comment your questions uh, you can ask us in a group also and one thing if you have not joined our group yet 
please do subscribe our channel and there is a description a form is there please fill the form and then join our group please do not ask in our group to give a direct link because we do not tend to give the link in whatsapp in a personal chat because it is a security of all the people uh, connected with us so we need your data and then only you can access our whatsapp group so moving on to the next question and here comes our last question how many words can be formed by using the letters from the word driver such that all vowels are never together remember the second question all vowels will be together but here all vowels will never be together so like we took it in previous question we assume all the vowels to be a single character so i e is a single character now let us write i e to be as a single character now we have total of five characters in the word as we have seen only d comma r comma v comma r comma i e but r occurred twice so number of possible arrangement was 5 factorial by 2 factorial that came to 16 now the two vowels can be arranged in two factorial way that means equal to two ways total number of possible words as the vowel are always together is 16 to 2 till here we solved in our previous sum now comes when they are never together total number of possible words is equal to 6 factorial by 2 factorial 2 factorial is because there are two r so that comes to 720 by 2 equal to 360 therefore what you have to do is you just have to subtract it total number of possible words such that the vowels are never together equal to 360 minus 120 that comes to 240 So guys I hope you have understood all the sums if you have any problem please comment us please like our video thank you for watching us thank you for watching the video if you liked the video please give us a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel and do join our whatsapp group if you have any queries do comment us we really love to hear from you thank you so much All the very best bye bye